we're going to go a little bit more in depth about the First Amendment, which is a part of the Bill of Rights in the U.S. Constitution. So there are five parts to this. There's the religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition. So first up is religion. You are free to practice and worship whoever you want to here in the United States. So even though there's a lot of Christians here in the U.S., we're not a Christian nation. You're free to practice whatever you want to, whether it be Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism. You're free to worship whoever you wish to here. So that next part is speech. You can have an opinion and you can say it and you're not going to get in trouble for it. So whether you're criticizing the government or you just don't like history class that much, I don't know why you wouldn't. You can have an opinion of things. And that goes hand in hand with press. Whoa, what is happening? Weird. So you have an opinion of things, and then you can actually write them down for other people to read. So you can criticize the government, talk about world events, or talk about math class and how you really just don't like algebra that much. So the next part, assembly and press. They also go hand in hand. So we're allowed to gather peacefully, which is called assembly. This has been happening quite often recently with protests in the Black Lives Matter movement. We are allowed to go out there and say our opinions and say that we need change to happen in the world. So along with protesting, you can do something called writing a petition. And writing a petition is essentially just shutting signing your name, and then you're sending it to the government, and you're telling them, hey, I want this to happen. And they see all of the people in the different areas of the world coming together and having that same opinion. So those are the five parts of the First Amendment. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Bye.